What's up guys, this is Sunny, back with another budget CPU air cooler. Now I know you guys like budget, you know, PC parts. So that's why I try to get, uh, you know, like coolers and stuff like under maybe $50 or $100. Today we have one more, uh, you know, product from NMX. They were nice enough to send one of their budget CPU air cooler we have here. NMX ETS F40 FS. This cooler goes for around $49 and comes in two variant. We have the white version here for my black and white uh, $500 gaming PC. And they also have the black version. So you can pick the color uh, you prefer for your build. Now, this cooler also comes with RGB because I know you guys love RGB, right? So this cooler also have RGB on the cooler uh, as you guys can see the box. And then also comes with a 140 millimeter RGB fan. And the good thing with this cooler, uh, it's not all that big. The cooler height is around 158 millimeter, and you know it comes with 140 millimeter fans. So the cooler dimension is not all that big. As long as you have a regular mid tower case, this cooler should fit in your uh, case. Now, also. NMX F40 works with motherboard RGB softwares like uh, Asus Aura Sync, RGB Fusion from the uh, Gigabyte, uh, Razer uh, Chroma, RGB, Astrock Polychrome Sync, and then MSI Mystic Light Sync, and then uh, the NMX RGB addressable uh, software also. One more thing I like about this cooler, they have this thing called uh, Vortex Generation Flow, VGF, and I believe only Intermax have this pattern. Now I could be wrong. Uh, so what that does actually uh, gives better airflow to the heat pipes, like vacuum effect flow. I, I don't know, you guys can see here, okay? And also this cooler works with latest and greatest Intel and AMD sockets. So Intel socket, uh, LGA uh, 2066, 2011 all the way from version 1 to version uh, 3 uh, 1366 uh, 1200 1156 1155 1151 and 1150 MD socket M2 M2 plus M3 M3 plus M4 uh, FM1 FM2 and FM2 plus all right let me just read you guys a couple other specs and then we'll you know jump in and do a quick unboxing for you guys Okay, so overall cooler uh, dimension, uh, 140 millimeter by 93 by 158. So like I told you guys, this cooler is not all that big. And the cooler weight is only 800 gram. And I don't know if I did mention, this cooler does come with four copper heat pipes and these are uh, six millimeter. Does have uh, ARGB, five bolt, three pin, uh, plug now keep in mind if your motherboard doesn't have a uh, 5 ball 3 pin RGB header then most likely uh, These LED lights are not going to turn on so I recently upgraded my motherboard uh, From gigabyte B450 to gigabyte B550 now I actually got this motherboard for really cheap from B&H open box so i paid 50 dollars uh this motherboard goes for around i believe 100 dollars now one good thing about this motherboard this motherboard does come with the rgb uh the four pin header and the three pin rgb five bolt headers now we need the uh, three pin rgb headers for most of these uh, budget cpu air cooler let me just um you know open this box and show you guys what this cooler comes with all right, so first thing we have here, user manual. Let me move this box as you guys can see here. Okay, step-by-step -step installation guide for Intel and AMD. Okay, there is a nice foam on the top. And we have a box here with, let me see. Okay, so we have fan uh, mounting metal clips here. And then we have Intel and AMD uh, socket installation kit and does come with a small NMX thermal paste tube right here. So that's really cool. 
and that's about it here now let's look at the cooler and then we'll check the fan all right so here we have the cooler all white everything white the cable is white the top plastic piece here white does have rgb led on the top uh, cover right here uh, let me remove these forms from here okay pretty big okay like i told you guys the cooler height is around 158 millimeter okay and you guys can see uh, even the copper pipes are painted uh, white so let me remove this now as you guys can see copper pipes have direct contract with the cpu plate right here so that's really good for cooling purpose okay and we have a cable here for rgb all right so we have the fan right here 140 millimeter fan the fan speed is from 300 rpm to 1200 rpm okay so you guys can see all white even cables white does come with one pwm four pin uh fan plug right here goes to your motherboard uh, pwm uh, cpu uh, fan header and then we have the rgb plug right here this small plug basically this plug gets okay connected here and then we have rgb 5 volt 3 pin plug right here so make sure before you buy this cooler make sure your motherboard have 5 volt uh, 3 pin rgb header all right so real quick let's install this cooler and show you guys how this cooler perform with my md ryzen 3 3100 cpu overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz and uh you know We'll test and see how loud is this cooler, you know, the noise level and the temps and stuff. Let's jump in. All right guys, so time for installation and installation process is really, really simple. So as you guys can see, uh, you guys can easily follow the manual uh, NRMAX included with this NRMAX F40 cooler. So for M4, we need MD stock backplate, uh, the one, uh, you will find uh, back of the motherboard and also we need um, the mounting plate so the mounting plate we have here as you guys can see we need to install this mounting plate and we also need stands off so we have some plastic stands off here four stands off okay and we do need md mounting screw so you guys can see we have the mounting screw here we have four screws and for fan we do need the fan clip so we can install the fan and also they did include a thermal paste tube here finally done with the installation installation part was really simple 
Now, as you guys can see, this color looks really nice in this case. And especially the LED RGB part right here. Um, I kind of like the LED RGB light on the cooler. There is RGB on the fan also. And the RAM clearance, really, really good. As you guys can see, I can actually fit my finger here. So I can actually install one more RAM on the first slot and I don't have to worry about, you know, the clearance. Now, one more thing, the reason uh, LED RGB working with this motherboard because I told you guys I bought a new motherboard. I don't have my old Gigabyte B450 uh, motherboard. So I have here Gigabyte B550M DS3H and this board comes with LED RGB uh, header the 4 pin and ARGB 5 bolt 3 pin header so I can easily just uh, plug the 5 bolt 3 pin plug and as you guys can see LED works out the box and also I can if I want I can install Intermax uh, addressable RGB software or currently I have uh, Gigabyte RGB Fusion software installed and I can actually control the light as you guys can hear while idling you guys can hear the fan noise this cooler is pretty quiet and yes I do have the side panel closed I have a decibel meter right here so let's see the sound level with this meter Forty-two. All right, so forty-two. Well, idling. Okay, and temperature, as you guys can see right now, around thirty-seven Celsius. And currently, the CPU overclocked to four point two gigahertz with one point one volt. Okay, system is idling. Now, let me start Cinebench R20. Should I make this bigger? And let's run Cinebench R20. All right, so currently Cinebench R20 running. And current temperature is around 64 Celsius. You guys can hear the fan noise. So currently my shotgun microphone is like 10 inches away from the case. And let's get the decibel meter again. All right, 43 decibel. And the temperature is around 65 Celsius. 66 right now. And we're still running Cinebench R20. You guys can hear the fan noise. And yes, I do have the side panel closed. Temperature 67 or 66 Celsius on the load. And we are almost done with the Cinebench R20. We are done. The CPU score is around 
2511 PTS. All right, guys, let me know what do you guys think. Now, I personally think NMAX ETS F40 FS, let's just call NMAX F40 CPU air cooler, performed pretty good. Now, I kind of like the all white look. This cooler does look really nice, especially the RGB part. I really like uh, RGB on the cooler and RGB on the fan. And also, I don't think this cooler is all that loud. Like I can actually live with these uh, noise levels pretty good. I'm still new with this decibel meter right here. If you guys do like this cooler, there will be a link in the video's description. Let me know what you guys think. And that should be it guys. See you guys next one. Peace.